what's today? Wednesday the 16th? Is that what today is? No, oh, Dan, it's crap, the 15th. And they're good. Oh, it's the 15th, and I just heard sirens. Something is like going down. Anyway, I think we're, we're in back of a juvie boss, and it is Wednesday the 15th, and I have Kyle. Say hi, Kyle. Hi. Put the camera around. Hey, I was going to amend to you, but you know. The crystal <laughs> camera. Sorry. I don't know if we can curse, but I'll edit it. It's good. All right. But we Edit's are good. on the way to Rowan University right now in uh, Wilson Concert Hall, and I'm going to show you guys the organ. Yeah. The pipe organ, that is. The organ is going to be super the, super. the organ. And there's checkers. Checkers is pretty awesome. But I don't like checkers. You don't like checkers? I Not like their really. fries. Checkers has good fries. That's like the best thing about checkers is their fries. Say bye to the juvie bus. See ya. Bye, juvie <laughs> bus. <laughs> we'll come for you later. You don't like don't checkers worry. though, really? No, no, I don't. What? Yeah. Well, we're going to Chipotle today, which is 20 times better than Chipotle. Chipotle so. is the best. Are they outside of like the East Coast, or are they like a Wawa deal where it's only Chipotle? Like, around here? Yeah. I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know where they are, but um. Maybe someone can answer that question for yeah, us. Yeah, let us know. Or we could probably just look on the website if I felt like it. <laughs> just Google it on your smartphone. <laughs> Want to go to church? Baptist? Whatever. Nah, I'd <laughs> we, rather not. Yeah. It's cool. He's got some groceries. He does. Grocery shopping. And I'm almost gonna hit that car. But yeah, this is like <laughs> the first good. video, so this is the first time we are doing this. Um, expect more. Chris Kyle said he's down for doing this, so yeah. wherever I go, he practically awesome. comes along with me. So. <laughs> <laughs> and look, here we are already. So I'm now, Dan's assistant. He is actually. You'll find that out in future videos. He's my. He carries all my stuff for me. <laughs> <laughs> Except I don't pay him, so it's like he's an assistant and I'm not paying him. I'm a voluntary so assistant. He is. And hey, look, it's rolling. Yeah, actually, not really. Oh, oh wait, yeah, not there, really. I guess there's summer classes going on. I don't know why there's so many cars in there, but as long as the hall is free, get the sign. As long as the hall is free, we should be good to go. And I gotta get the key, and it's, it'll be good. So what we're looking at, it's a mid 60s, 65, 69, something around there. Wick organ. Uh, it was built with the concert hall. Three manuals. 59 rank and we are parking now so once we get into the building we'll take it from there we're finally here we finally made it to the concert hall now that we found the keys which i will explain to you about later uh, but, <laughs> <laughs> but right now we are in the flieger concert hall in wilson hall at rowan university uh, this hall seats about 825 people it was built with the building in the mid 60s and that's when the organ was installed as well it is a 60s wick uh, electro pneumatic pipe organ which means that when a key is pressed on the organ it sends an electrical signal over to the swell boxes here and then once you get up to those swell boxes from that electric current the uh, stopper is removed which allows the air to go through the pipe which makes a sound. So on this swell box over here this is where the pedal, most of the pedal division is as well as the great division and once I get down to the console I'll explain more to that. And then over to the other side here are where a lot of the reed instruments are, as well as the swell division and the choir division, and some of the pipe or, or some of the pedal bass notes as well. This is a mid-size organ. It's actually not too bad for a uh, university. Um, some obviously have much bigger organs than this, though. What we have here are all the different stops. So all these are what makes the different sounds of the organ. And when you pull more of these out, different sounds come through the pipes. And then the keyboards here, depending on what section of stops you pull out, depends on what keyboard that you play on. So with the three different keyboards, we have the swell keyboard up at the top here. This is all called the swell division. The middle keyboard is called the great division. And the bottom keyboard is called the choir division. And of course, I'm sure many of you are familiar with the pedal division down below, which often offers those very, very low bass notes that why people love the organ just because of how versatile it is. So I'm going to come on now and start something off here. So what we were doing earlier is I was just showing Kyle all the different sounds that the organ can make. And the run, one reason that I do like the organ a lot is because if you think about it, it sort of was the first synthesizer that ever happened because we do have all kinds of different sounds that we can start off with. For example, if I just pull out my eight foot, oh, and that's another good point. When I say a number with a foot next to it, that actually means if you, Kyle, go ahead and go straight up to that pipe there. Those pipes, when I say eight feet, actually are the size of the pipes. So when I say I'm gonna pull out my eight foot trumpet stop, that means the highest pipe within the trumpet rank is an eight foot pipe. 
So now if you want to swing back around, now that you know what that, that the, the eight foot means, I'll just show you a quick sound. Now, like I was saying earlier, uh, to Kyle, this is more of a Baroque style organ. So if you think of the sounds that you hear in the Baroque era, that's sort of the sounds that this organ makes. So I can play my trumpet here. It doesn't sound like a, a big, real brass trumpet that you might hear in a huge cathedral because we really don't need that in this hall. Instead, it's more of a, a mellow, kind of um, muted sounding trumpet. And you can do all different kinds of things with it. Stuff like that. And then, of course, on the grate, we also have our principal organ sound. And that's the sound that really makes an organ an organ. So if you ever go to church and you hear your organ at church, this is what people always think of as an organ sound. And that pipes out of tune. And then we can also go down to our eight foot organ stop and our four foot, which give you a nice blend together so you don't have that super high pitch noise as well. So there's some of the sounds that are on the grate, and then we actually have a dance company coming in here, so I'm going to speed up a little bit. Now, the pe people often like the bottom bass sounds as well, but an often misconception with the bass notes is that they're often very low. Of course, they can be very low. This is a, the 32 foot, which is the lowest sound on the organ. I don't know if the camera can actually pick that up or not. Let me open up this well box. That's the lowest sound, and what that is, we our hall's not big enough to have an actual 32-foot pipe in here, so we have two 16-foot <laughs> pipes. Pipe. <laughs> we have two 16-foot pipes uh, coupled together to get you that 32-foot sound. The most working note of the low bass by itself is our 16-foot bombard, which is this right here. That's the that's a lowest working sound. But then, even down on the pedals, our lowest pedal stop, or I'm sorry, our highest pedal stop is a four foot pipe. So we can have such dynamic range to go from that 32 foot pipe all the way up to a nice high sounding four foot. That's the highest note of the bass pipes. So now, what we can also do um, is preset sounds. Um, because this is the sort of an electric organ like I was telling you about with electrical mechanic or electrical parts inside, I can't reprogram these numbers anymore, so uh, I'll just show you what I have to work with. But if you want to take a look at the stops here, Kyle, when I press one of the buttons, the stops automatically change for me. So if you're doing a huge piece that requires a lot of different sounds, all you have to do is press some of the buttons and all the stops change for me on the organ automatically. So, uh, for example, I can start out with something soft. Let me see. Um, let's do four foot flute. So that's the softness of the organ as well. And now, uh, I'm jumping around a little bit, only because of time's sake, but I was also talking about the highest note. We heard the lowest, again, the lowest note, I'll turn this up again, the lowest note of the organ at 32 foot. It sounds like a helicopter taking off in the room. <laughs> <laughs> but then, we can also go up to the highest note of my small division, which is a two-foot pipe. So if I start up all the way on the upper octave, I, I don't know if the camera can pick it up. We're almost in dog whistle territory here. Hmm. Our blower's <laughs> almost, did you hear that? Yeah. Our blower's almost not even oh, strong man. enough to get that much pressure right. through that tiny pipe. The, the note actually cut out on us. Let's see if we can get that again. Wow. It's 
crazy. Oh, there we go. No, that note wasn't working earlier, actually. That is the highest note on the organ. I don't, like I was saying, I don't even know if the camera... I'll shut up. I don't know if the camera can even pick that up. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. So yeah, that's the highest note. And again, like I said earlier, that's coming out of the swell division, which most of those pipes are over there. So now what you guys were probably all waiting for, let me give you a little treat here. These Wick Oregon at Rowan University with all the stops out. <laughs> the 32 foot out just there at the end and I couldn't even hear it coming out and again just to show you that sound. Yeah. 